Peggy 18. I'm here with John and Michael at Bioware Edmonton and uh, these guys are going to give me a few tips and tricks on how to get started in Dragon Age Inquisition. Uh, so let's get started with the first and most important thing, which race do you pick? It kind of depends on what you want to go for. Each race has obviously its unique look. Dwarf has a uh, magic resist, so it's a little bit easier to fight against, you know, the demonic enemies that you're going to be facing throughout it. Kunari has a uh, melee defense, a um, little bit easier to tank stuff with that. Elves, Elves have, have uh, range defense. Range defense, yeah. yes. Whereas the humans just get the easier pick of you get one more ability point and it allows you a little bit more freedom. Yes, yeah, so you can spend that ability point on another upgrade or another ability or another passive. Anything, and that as a human you can just go that one point further that no one else can. Which races do you guys play as? I'm a dwarf female. <laughs> My plays here. I go human because <laughs> I like to get that that extra oomph. But dwarves can't be mages. No, so I, I'm playing as a warrior. We have three classes in Inquisition. You have a warrior, you have a mage, and you have a rogue. How do you choose? We're a party-based game, so you, you can choose what you want to play as. That's your character. But you already have your party to f flesh out everything else that you don't have. Yeah, you definitely want to try and have a balanced party. Uh, and having the followers there with so many options, it's really easy to find someone that both you like in the story, but can also support you in combat. Who else is in your party? Uh, I've got Varric as well. He's really awesome. He's mm -hmm. got uh, Bianca the crossbow. I picked up Dorian recently. I, I loved Dorian so much in the story. I didn't care. I just had to push somebody out to get him in there. <laughs> and then yeah, I also have Cassandra. So she's up there making sure that my guy can deal the damage. Uh, and so I don't have to be doing the tanking for the party. So when players boot up the game for the first time, what would you say would be your top tips to get them started in combat? Make sure you capitalize on combos as often as you can. Uh, Cross-class combos are the most effective, so setting up a state like freeze or paralyze with your mage, and then coming in with your warrior and hitting him with mighty blow to have a huge electrical explosion or shatter that frozen guy. Also, keep in mind the soft combos too. So abilities that may not seem like they work well together, but when you put them together, they work really well. So something like Pull of the Abyss and a Fire Mine. And last of all, just it's an RPG and you know it's one of the great things about us is just experiment, right? Um, we've got respects, potions for, for everyone. Um, it's pretty cheap to do and it's fairly easy to just switch out what your card load out is. So just experiment, see what, see what interests you and what, what is fun as an ability. I think we give you right, right away Winter's Grasp. Yeah. And that's, that's just an amazing ability. It's single target, but it CCs, it does cool damage, and it freezes them for a short duration. And that's super useful. Freezing someone solid is still going to be a good idea, you know, 50 hours into the game, as soon as it was at level one. John and Mike, thank you very much. I feel prepared to lead the Inquisition now. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, make sure you look out for more videos from my trip to Bioware.